Manawatu. You're listening to The Garden Clinic on 2GB873. Thanks to Seasol. Don't just water your garden, Seasol your garden. A very good morning to you. It's going to be uh, chilly overnight, and uh, but reasonably sunny, but it could be a bit breezy. Uh, which will take the temperature down, certainly in Sydney town. Uh, good morning to you, wherever you are listening to us. Thanks for your company each Saturday and Sunday morning. Now, on Saturdays, we have a chat. And this weekend, uh, to our resident doc from Neutrog, uh, he's putting on his stethoscope in the corner here of the studio. Uh, he wants to go back to some old soil science and soil microbes, in particular... Nitrogen fixation. Now, that's going to be legume country, I suspect. Good morning, Yui. Hi, Graham. Yes, uh, not sure if you remember, but a few weeks ago we spoke about how we both planted peas, and that sort of reminded me about that incredible ability of those soil microbes to fix that nitrogen. And I guess, you know, your listeners would be well aware of those root nodules you get on the peas and on the beans and, and other legumes, as you mentioned. So these nodules contain a colony of bacteria known as rhizobium, and there's different types of bacteria for pretty much every different type of legumes. And uh, it's a nice, safe home this nodule for these bacteria. They don't have to compete with other soil organisms. They get a free meal of sugar and amino acids from the plant. And in turn, the bacteria then takes that nitrogen from the atmosphere and turns it into ammonia. And that's a form of nitrogen the plant can use. So it's a, it's a nice mutualistic relationship. Yes, I remember when I was 16 working for a seed company, we used to uh, inoculate them. It's certainly one of the most fascinating plant microbes interactions that you can get. Uh, but do they only, uh, uh, these bacteria only fix nitrogen? But, but these, yeah, so these bacteria fix the nitrogen within those nodules, and they're the, really the most efficient ones at fixing nitrogen. But there's a range of other free-living bacteria that do that job as well. So, oh. I'm, so, yeah, so I'm currently screening soil samples to isolate some of these nitrogen-fixing bacteria. And having said that, go-go juice, for example, already contains some of these nitrogen-fixing bacteria. So there's things like azotobacter that fixes nitrogen in the aerobic layer of the soil, and then there's anaerobic bacteria that fix nitrogen deep in the soil. So... Like I said, that makes the atmospheric nitrogen available for the plants. And these microbes are generally found around the roots. So here the plant secretes things like sugars and, and that sort of thing for those bacteria, and the bacteria then give the plants nitrogen. And so it reduces really your need to use a lot of chemical nitrogen fertilisers. Well, I guess if you already have some of these bacteria, but your quest is actually to find more. Yeah, we do have a number of these in our products, and I also have a large number already in my freezer in the lab. But... At Neutrog, we really want to continue to be innovative. And so, you know, we want to make products that are really, really useful for everyone. So the goal is to have a, a bank of these useful microbes and then to mix and match them for given soil types. For example, ones that work best in, say, acidic or high salt content soil. So it's diversity of products, in, it's diversity in these products that ensures that it works in different soil types. So the quest, you know, to unearth novel and uh, new soil microbes, I guess what makes Neutrog perhaps unique in Australia because we take finding these biological-based solutions and the research and development very seriously. So, you know, when it comes to nitrogen fixation, go-go juice is really just the start of the journey. We're in a really exciting phase at the moment. So so watch this space. I uh, took your advice and added some go-go juice to water to sow my peas in a little jar overnight, Uh, sowed them the next day because they swelled up and absorbed a bit of the go-go juice and the moisture. They germinated in five days in the ground. Five days. How cool is that? I'll be harvesting them next. Well, you've heard uh, from the doc, uh, Doc Neutrog. (laughs) He has a a strong focus on research and development to create new products for us all and to improve existing products like go-go juice. I don't know if he can make it any better, but he's the the bloke who'll do it. Go-go juice, which is uh, designed to enhance soil and plant health. Put a few drops in the in a little beaker of water when you're sowing your peas uh, the night before, before you plant them out. Uh, you can get it uh, at Bunnings, uh, other hardware outlets, and, of course, all good garden centres. Stay safe, Dr. Yui. Same to you, Graham, and to your listeners. Cheers. Bye-bye. Yeah, go-go juice. Look, it's got a million uses.